Hi everybody, b 911 here once again for an RPG Maker XP tutorial. This time I'm going to be showing you guys all the event commands for sounds on the second page. Um, even though there are a lot of these, I'm going to do them all in this video and it's not going to take very long. So, play background music, um, BGM stands for background music in case you didn't know. When you select one of these and you have it playing, you can select what volume it plays at and the pitch that it plays at. 100% is normal pitch, and, uh, let's see. So, that's the normal pitch. If you change it to 150, it's going to be higher pitch than that. have it at lower pitch, it will play lower. Also, when you change the pitch, it makes it play faster or slower. Just keep that in mind. Um, fade out, uh, background music, Over, you pick over a certain amount of time. That's how long it'll take to fade out. And I use that for transitions mostly. Um, going into new maps. Like if you're going into a field you want to change it to a different um, to a different uh, different music in the background. But you don't want it just to end and then start the new music. You want it to fade out and then fade back in the new music. So that's one thing to keep in mind. Play BGS is background sound, and that's pretty much ambient sounds like uh, crickets. Um, birds chirping, a waterfall, they have the wind, rain, waves, uh, they have a river, waterfall, fire, quake, drips, um, that's like for after storms. They have creatures, they have darkness, they have people, which is uh, used in towns, they have a clock, which you can use indoors, um, darkness, drips, fire, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. They have memorized background music and background sound, and what you use this for is um, when you have background music and background sound playing, either one will do. Um, you hit memorize uh, BGM BGS, and it will memorize that music. Then you can uh, fade out the background music. Then, the next thing on here is Restore BGM BGS, and that will put it back to what it was before. So you don't have to take it away, and then when you want it back to go through this whole thing again, setting it up just the way you want it. You can memorize it, uh, fade it out, then restore it. So then you have Play ME, which is mm, Music Effect, I think. Um, if anyone knows what ME really stands for, let me know. And these are little, uh, they're just little sound effects that go along. Um, victory, uh, that's what you hear at the end of, uh, the b battles, I guess. Uh, defeat is what you hear at the end of a battle if you lose, you know. Just these different things on here. The game over uh, sound effect. The victory. Yeah, you know, all these different things. To me, they're just sound effects, so I don't know what the difference is. Now, sound effect uh, SE. Play sound effect. These are just uh, little things, you know. Explosions, the thunderclap. Uh, animals, monster uh, attack. These are all the sound effects for um, the show animation. You know, the animations that you can set up in your database. These are all the sound effects for it. And then you have stop sound effect. And, uh, yeah, you can change these to different volume and the different pitch. And uh, just mess around with these and see what you like. So, it's all preference. So, whatever you guys like, you put that in your game. So, just mess around with it and, uh, yeah. So this is the end of my tutorial, and don't forget to subscribe, rate me five stars, uh, put comments in if you have any questions on this video or recommendations for new videos, um, I'd be glad to make them for you. 
So let me know. And uh, I'll see you guys in my next tutorial. Bye.